Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we're watching season 2 episode 2 of Killing Eve. Nice and neat. It's good to be back to a very good show after the mess that Game of Thrones was. I am glad I'm coming back to a very well structured and written show <laughs> like Killing Eve is. I am well aware that right now <laughs> Well, I was watching Game of Thrones, Killing Eve kept going and I just, I'm really behind on it, but I have not been spoiled yet, so this is gonna be a real reaction for me. So there's that. This last weekend I have been, been watching Dead to Me, it's on Netflix, it has, it has Christina Applegate and I loved it. It was amazing. It is mainly female driven, mainly female cast. I just finished the first season and I cannot wait for the next one. So if you have a bit of spare time in your hands, I would advise you to watch it. So let's start this. This is how it works. We have to talk. Gross. I want you to know that I hear you and I'll be on. Look, uh, I have a spare room, uh, uh, if you need somewhere for a night or two. How, how do you always look so good? I mean, do you even sleep? It's my moisturizer. It's made of pig's placenta. Costs a fortune, smells like arse, but it is exceedingly effective. Yeah. I don't mind smelling like arse. Uh, Elena felt the job was no longer for her. She's worried about getting murdered. Oh which is a very valid fear. Yep, that's not creepy at all. What the hell? Great Annabelle, we have a guest. <laughs> <laughs> Could I possibly sit down? Oh dear, oh dear. Oof. You're withholding information on an investigation that you're working on. Well, on the bright side, now you are too. Oh, I love words. <laughs> Just wants to hear the assassin. I'm not going down alone. Mm -mm. No, not usually. She's flamboyant and attention seeking and instinctive. Look at that passion. Spoiled. Easily bored. But no. She's not sloppy. Do not insult her wife. Frank her Hilton. Presence. That poor boy, honestly. She touches it so tenderly with such love. Was a clue to her. Oh, how does she know? Say ah. Uh, ah. No white spots. Creepy. I would not be able to sleep in a room full of dolls. Stop! Stop! It's my mother. a bit of a stir at the pharmacy. I'll have to tell them they're for my uh, girlfriend. Oh my god. Ah, this is so creepy. Help. <sighs> I know it's not a nice thought, but I hope she kills him at the end of this episode. Damn, she knew how to pick him, huh? What are you looking for? A kitchen knife. What for? To stab you with. <laughs> <laughs> Eve pull last three. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Damn. Are you sure it was her? Oh 
I think you're going to bleed to death. Oh. What was her plan exactly? Oh, her wound. Oh, God. <laughs> she kind of looks like Billie Eilish there. that every time that I watch a new episode from Killing Eve, I am going to find something good. I honestly cannot believe how much Eve has evolved as a character within remaining in her own characterization, you know what I mean? She just cannot hide her interest and emotion and excitement every time she thinks or talks about Villanelle. It is just so interesting. Every episode, it's just so intricate and it captivates you. This episode, it leaves you the cliffhanger of Villanelle coming back to work with the organization that has tried to kill her a couple of times already. The bond between her and Eve gets thicker and thicker and I love the acting and the script is really good and everything's just amazing. You can, you can see and feel the minds of this characters working and you go along with them and it's just such a cool ride along. I love it. I missed it. Really, really. And damn, Judy Comer knows how to handle her accents. That was really good. That was amazing. I loved it. I am a bitch for accents. I love them so much. So yeah, 10 out of 10. I'm gonna keep watching. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching with me today guys. Have an amazing day and I will see you around.